Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to go over a 2016 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS. It's going to be an awesome rear entertainment floor plan. has a lot of features that are reminiscent of a fifth wheel, but it's going to be on the travel trailer. Let's go ahead and start off right out here on front and take a look at some of the great amenities. So right up front you'll notice here we're going to have our power tongue jack, super simple to use. Just going to have your on off switch here for your light. That way if you are hooking up or unhooking at night you can see what you're doing and then just like that it's going to be able to raise up and down so it makes it nice and easy to hook up as well as disconnect behind that is going to be our battery box with a battery disconnect that's going to be built in that way you don't have to worry about disconnecting your battery when you're done using it just uh, turn that disconnect and it'll kill all power to the coach then behind that, something I really like that Sprinter did, built into their fiberglass front cap is going to be a shroud for your propane tanks. That way, not only does it help protect the tanks, but it really just makes it look nice, gives it a very complete look, rather than having that big box on there. Uh, they just did a fantastic job right up front. So uh, fiberglass front cap, as you can see on there, not only is that um, you know look really nice, but it's also gonna help against any kind of water intrusion. Now as we come along to the side here, you do have pass-through storage right here. We can take a look. Uh, a couple things of note. So the pass-through storage right here isn't going to be as big as you see in a lot of travel trailers, but when we go around the back side, pay attention because underneath the bed is going to be a huge storage area. So it's actually going to end up having a lot more than most. Also right up front here is going to be a plug-in as well as a uh, cable connection. So if you do want a TV out front, you can go ahead and hook it up right in there. Again, you see that a uh, lot in fifth wheels, but not very often in a travel trailer. Power awning on there. It is going to have the Solera speakers that are going to be built right into the awning. So touch of a button, that power awning is going to roll out. The speakers are going to then play down on the campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbor. So if you're awning out, sound is coming down. Just a, an extra cool feature to have. And then also you are going to have an LED strip that's going to be mounted underneath that awning. So it does go ahead and light it up at night. Getting into the coach is an absolute breeze. You're gonna have three steps here. As you'll see, they are gonna be aluminum, so they're not gonna rust out on you. And then they're also gonna have some extra traction strips on here too. So if it does rain and it's wet, it's not gonna be slick. You're not gonna have to worry about slipping and falling. Also, you're going to have a nice wide door to get into the Sprinter. Um, so that way, you know, if you're carrying totes and everything in, you don't have to turn them sideways. You can just carry them in normal, go ahead and enter in there, as well as an easy grab handle here, which is also going to help assist you in. Now, one of the things I do like to talk about Sprinter is going to be uh, the fact that they actually have been tested at zero degrees and at 100 degrees, just to make sure it's going to maintain performance. And at zero degrees, underneath uh, where all your pipes and valves and everything are, was 42 degrees. So far, even you know, not even close to freezing, which again is just a testament to how well built the Sprinter is. Most of your manufacturers will claim that it is, but they're not actually going to have it tested. Sprinter went ahead, spent that extra money to make sure that their product was going to withstand those temperatures. Um, you know, again, so you're gonna have your, your fiberglass sidewalls on here. If we take a look underneath, you can see there you're gonna have the aluminum rims. It's not that they look nice, but less chance for rusting there. And also it's gonna have the correct track alignment system. So what that is, is if your uh, axles do become misaligned, it's a lot easier to go ahead and realign those so that way you're not going to get uneven tire wear. Along the roof line here, you'll see we're going to have our downspouts for rain. That's going to run all the way to the front and the back. That way when you're you know, uh, getting in and exiting the coach, you're not going to have to worry about rain dripping down on your head. It's going to go to the front and back corners, uh, which you know is always something that you want when it's raining. <laughs> You'll notice here on our jacks, it's going to have the A, the A style jacks. Uh, the great thing about that is, you know, when it comes to forces in nature, you see all the times how strong a triangle is. You see it in bridges, you see it in trusses. That's going to kind of be the same principle here. So it's going to be a lot more stable jack system and it requires a lot less effort to get it up and down because as you'll notice right here, it is going to be electric. So touch of a button, they go up, touch of a button, comes back down. Again, trying to make camping easy for you. Spare is going to be mounted on the rear bumper. Hopefully you never have to use it in the event that you do. It's going to be right there. Also, and we'll see this again when we go inside, but you get a massive rear picture window there. That way if you do have a beautiful view out the back, if you're one of the lucky ones to have Oceanside or Lakefront view, you can go ahead and uh, enjoy that while inside your fifth wheel. Of course we'll have our satellite and cable connections right there. Um, power connection is going to be right here. This is going to be a 50 amp connection on there. 
And then as we make our way down a little bit further, show you right here, you're gonna have your black tank flush valve. So if you're not familiar what that is, it's basically you take a hose, you put it right up in here, and that, uh, instead of having to take a hose and put it down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, just put it right there. Black tank has sprayers built in, it'll go ahead and wash it out for you. Also right here is gonna be our outside shower that but has both hot and cold access. And one of the things I really wanted to show you when I was talking about the storage, take a look right here. You get huge storage in there, so massive storage. I know we have it full of stuff right now, uh, but you know, you even get an indoor outdoor table that does come with it, easily stores there. Uh, again, that's gonna be underneath our bed, which is gonna be in this slide out. But that's enough about the outside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Sprinter 319 MKS. As you can see, it's very open. You have a ton of space in here, just a wonderful uh, rear entertainment floor plan. But let's go ahead and start off right over here, and that's going to be on our freestanding table. So beautiful freestanding table. You're gonna have four chairs, of course, so plenty of space for everyone to sit. And all four of your seats are gonna lift up, allowing extra storage space in the chairs themselves. Of course, we're gonna have excellent windows along uh, this slide so it's going to let in a lot of natural light and also it's going to give you a perfect shot to your campsite and that's exactly the view that you're going to want. Then right here is going to be our theater seating. So extremely comfortable theater seats. This is one of my favorite things in uh, travel trailers or fifth wheels today is when you have theater seating and then straight across is going to be your TV. That way you're not going to have to crane your neck to look. You have a straight shot, extremely comfortable. Both of these will recline and you're gonna have cup holders in here as well. Of course, if you wanna sit here and read, you can certainly do that. As overhead, you are gonna have a bank of three LED lights, so it is going to be nice and bright for you. Along the back wall here is going to be our sofa, and uh, this is going to be a tri-fold sofa. So that's gonna be the preferred uh, method of sleeping on a sofa in this day and age for your RVs. Basically, you're not gonna have to worry about the uh, bar being in your back and your traditional pull-out beds and you're not gonna have to worry about an air mattress deflating. So not only is it an excellent place for guests to sit and uh, entertain, but it's also going to be an extra bed in case, again, people do spend the night. Now, if you notice on both sides, you're gonna have a nice wide shelf. Now, part of that is going to be in, uh, due to the fact that the Sprinter is going to be on a 100-inch wide base. Uh, so it's gonna be a nice wide chassis for you, which is gonna give you those extra wide shelves on the side. Both of those also have plug-ins, so if you do wanna sit down and and uh, work on your iPad or laptop, something like that, you can certainly plug that in. In fact, this one over here is even gonna be a GFI plug, so that's gonna be an added bonus there for you too. Also up top, something you don't wanna miss, you do get additional storage up here, nice wide opening, so perfect for board games, other things that uh, are gonna be too big to fit in a lot of other uh, areas. You can go ahead and put them in here, but you're gonna get four of those, has this nice, beautiful decorative glass on there as well. Now, as I was mentioning when I was sitting in the theater seating, right across here is going to be our TV. So nice large TV, which is perfect. Uh, you know, it's, you're not gonna be squinting to see it, which is great. And then you're not gonna have, uh, have to worry about hearing it either, because right underneath is going to be a sound bar for superior sound quality. You're gonna have some space underneath there for any extra components you want. Uh, and then underneath is going to be some extra storage. So great storage there. Now one of the other great things about the 319 is going to be the galley. You have a huge kitchen area in this coach, which is awesome. So you know if you are one that, again, likes to entertain, you like to prepare food, you have a ton of prep service uh, surface in here. So we'll start off with our fridge. You'll notice it has the stainless steel panels on there, but we'll open that up. Nice Dometic fridge. Uh, plenty of space in there, as you can see. Nice, easy uh, adjustment of the temperature is gonna be right here. It'll have a digital display on there, but this will run off of LP and electric, and it'll have automatic switch over for you. Now again, if you take a look at the prep space. It is absolutely massive here. You have the, this huge uh, bar area. You have a little bit here. You have some behind you, just a ton. I love what they did with the lighting in here as well. You're gonna have two, uh, uh, some directional lights right here. You'll have two of those, as well as a nice big skylight. Really lets in a lot of natural light. Now right here is going to be our stainless steel pull-out faucet. Um, it, it, this does have the controls right up top here, but again, that's going to pull out for you. 
you have your sink top cover. You had a little bit of a antifreeze spill on top there, but uh, you get a nice sink top cover. As you can see here, you're gonna have an American stone cast sink, nice deep sink. I like the American stone cast because it, it does a great job of blending into the countertops and it's not gonna scratch as easy as your stainless steel. So you get a larger bowl on your left, smaller bowl on the right, which is exactly what you want for doing dishes. Now bear in mind, this is going to be cutting board quality, so you can flip this over and use it as a large cutting board if you so desire. Underneath here, not only do we have huge countertop space, but when you have big countertop, you're also gonna get big storage. So right here is going to be our sponge tray. Underneath that, you can take a look there. You got massive storage there, which is perfect for a trash can. You're also gonna have additional storage over here, as well as uh, an extra drawer to go ahead and pull out. Full extension drawer, nice large drawer here. Then along our back wall, we have more lighting. You're gonna have storage up top, which also has access from this side. So you get great access to that compartment. This beautiful decorative glass here. You can open that up and you see you get great pantry space there, a little bit of space underneath too. And then right here is going to be a plug-in. So if you do wanna put a toaster, coffee maker, uh, blender, something like that over here, you can certainly do that. And it's also gonna have a little charging station where you'll have two USB ports built in. Come back over here, you're gonna have your stainless steel microwave as well as your stainless steel hood, uh, fully functional with a light and a fan on there. And then underneath that is going to be our uh, Atwood three burner stovetop. So of course, because it is Atwood, you're gonna have the great flame control on there. We can open that up. You'll see you are gonna have your conventional oven for baking. And then underneath, you're going to have a deeper set drawer, which is gonna be great for your pots and pans. Then last but not least, right here is going to be a bank of three full extension drawers, nice large drawers, perfect for your silverware, pot holders, everything else you're gonna need. And you're gonna have an additional plug here in case you again you wanna plug in your coffee maker. I know it's great back here, a lot of uh, awesome features. Let's go ahead up front and check out the bathroom and bedroom. The bathroom in the 319 is gonna have two entrances. You'll have one uh, from the hall or your main living area, as well as one going into the bedroom. As you'll see right here is going to be our uh, toilet. You have plenty of leg room. This is going to be a porcelain toilet, so it's gonna be nice and easy for you to clean as well. Of course, you'll see you have LED lights in here, which are gonna provide plenty of light, especially if you are getting ready. Uh, you're gonna have nice mirrored medicine cabinet here. That's gonna have storage behind it. And then you're going to have your sink and vanity uh, plug in here, perfect for hair dryers, as well as some extra storage. Now in this corner here is going to be our Neo angle shower, nice and large. I really like the door style they use because it's gonna roll in, and so that way any kind of water is gonna uh, roll right into the shower pan. You don't have to worry about it going all over your floor. You'll also see you have plenty of shelving space in there, as well as your hand wand there. And like I mentioned with the skylight, just a ton of light in that shower. All right, let's go ahead in here. We'll check out our bedroom. In the bedroom of the 319, as you'll see here, we are gonna have a queen bed. It'll be built in that slide out, so it's gonna be a full walk around bed. And as I showed you outside, take a look at that storage. You get huge storage here, both access, of course, from in here, as well as the access I did show you outside. Also, you'll have shelves that are gonna be built in on both sides of the bed, perfect for a glass of water, or you can put your cell phone up there. And then you'll have the storage up top with the decorative glass. Now right up front here is going to be our wardrobe. You can see you have a nice large hanging rod, plenty of hanging space there, as well as some shelving space. One of the really cool things here, not only do you have a ton of space down here for anything you wanna put in there, but if you're able to see right here, that actually has a washer and dryer connection. So it's not very often you're able to get a travel trailer with washer and dryer, but if that is one of your requirements, the 319 MKS by Sprinter will definitely meet that for you. Also, if just in case that's not enough storage for you, right over here you're gonna have a bunch of additional storage. You can take a look there. Great storage here. And you have a, a spot down here. I like to call this a uh, you know, perfect spot for a clothes hamper. You can throw all your dirty clothes right in there. But again, just a ton of storage. 
Not only do you have the big wardrobe, but you take a look here, you're gonna have a nice dresser. And again, because it's a 100 inch wide uh, frame, they're able to get an actual deep dresser here. These are very usable drawers. A lot of manufacturers uh, at the foot of the bed, you know, will put in this dresser. When you open the drawer, it's only gonna be about this wide. Not in the Sprinter, you have very, very usable drawers. You'll see you have six drawers here. Uh, so again, it's a, a great feature there. Nice large window, lets in a ton of natural light. And then up top here, you are going to have a plug-in for your TV. So if you do want a TV in the bedroom, you can certainly do that as well. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is the uh, Sprinter to 2016 uh, 319 MKS. Fantastic floor plan. You have the great uh, rear living area there, the massive galley with a ton of prep space on it. You're gonna have the slide out bedroom, great storage underneath, washer dryer hookup. Definitely one you wanna come out and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can go ahead and give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer it that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.